It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. The sixth race on the card is the Gallup TV FM 64 handicap for fillies and mares. The uh, average uh, merit rating is a 60. The race is going to be run over 1,750 metres and all things being equal, it will go off at 25 past three. Before we talk about this race, Sheldon, Gallup TV and of course the Gallup YouTube channel, um, as we all talk about so often, it's just wonderful, uh, these YouTube channels, because you can see all the reruns, you can see all the, the interviews. If you miss an interview, if there's too much racing and you can't get to see the interview, things are uploaded quickly. Uh, it's a great channel, that. It's exactly what the punter and everybody needs out there from A to Z and Z back to A again. Everything you need on the channel. So you go on there, you log on, you get everything and you find the winners, you watch the replays. And that's what each and every person needs to do out there. The form book's there to be seen, but you've got to go onto the channel, watch the replays and find that little bit of extra information that can just swing you into the winner's queue. Yep, Gallup TV, of course, a, a great live television channel as well coming at you from Hollywood Beds Gravel Head Office. But the sixth race is uh, another Paul Lafferty runner that's not at the top of the boards. I think it's number seven drive by that uh, is at the top of the boards with Jill Samina close in behind. Uh, but Devils and Dust is the one I, I give a bit of a chance to. She's my each way value, uh, never too far off the action. I know her last couple of runs she's dropped the ball, but we heard Paul say yesterday that after the vaccinations, etc., he backed off a bit and he's now starting to step up things uh, and they, they're starting to come good again. So Devils and Dust, she's a beautiful filly by Rafif for John Finlayson, whom I think it's his birthday today, but uh, we'll double check on that. Muzi Yeni, the pilot, and uh, Devils and Dust, not a good thing, selection, uh, an each way selection for me. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a horse like Pinstripe went back to back. She's a progressive filly, what well, seems that way anyway. Uh, drive by the favourite Louis Kursen, he's doing well. The yards in great form. Uh, Jel Samina uh, is another one. But uh, I'm bringing to the table each way uh, selection, each way value, devils and dust, and a uh, huge runner pinstripe. Well, it's not a state of copy and paste, but we're on the same page once again here with number four, devils and dust. So hopefully the Muzi Yeni, Paul Lafferty, will continue with the rich vein of form. And the reason I'm going with her is because she's dropped down to a 64 in the ratings. And if you look on earlier on, she was racing at a 75. She was running behind Lady Serena, Sing for Winter, and then behind Kayleen in an 82 handicap. From her last few runs, she's come down from a 70 to a 68, 67. And I like the last drop down to a 64. She has won at the course before. And I think what you're on the button there with number four, Devils and Dust as the value horse in the race. Drive by, top form in tremendous form at the moment. Pinstripe, I know they rate, so you've got to give a close eye on this one. And then number one, Natalia. Very disappointing for me. Last time out, they tried the 1900. I thought there would be some improvement. They've gone with the apprentice. Brevin Plaky's aboard. And with nothing on the back, if you're looking to throw a spook result in, throw in this individual. Yeah, you like Natalia, you're quite right, let us down a little last time, but that's okay, you know, they're, they're entitled to do that, uh, these animals, and uh, that four kgs off, wow, that brings, uh, brings her into a nice light weight, so yeah, we certainly will uh, throw number one Natalia into uh, the quartets, etc. But, as we've told you before, we haven't copied each other, we haven't shared notes, and uh, devils and dust are our value. Um, yeah, I think Pinstripe could certainly press them home, all the way home. She's by Vers and Getrix out of a, a, a equal stripes mare, and as Sheldon said, rated. She was the fastest finisher last time, and she won a gutsy race. So uh, maybe some uh, boxed exactors, Devils and Dust, Pinstripe, uh, and uh, throw in Natalia for your swingers and all your other play. But that is race six. That's what we like. Those are our numbers, so let's move along swiftly and talk to you about race seven. I bet with Interbet only, 
They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally, and uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.